Great morning. I wanted to look at, I just was watching the Teachers Federation president on the uh, mandate that says they're considering all options. And <laughs> I'll show you the reading I got. Uh, basically, we've got so much, you know, disinformation and things going on by you know those are wanting to sell sell and uh people are not listening okay people are not listening to the truth they're listening to this skewed stuff um so we have so many different options different things you know, they're wanting to make a radical change and they're looking at how to work on it, okay? Um, of course, the teachers want to go forward. So they're talking about opportunities, ways to make this happen. What's the best, highest action that we can take? It's in discussion. This is a big burden, burden that they're holding on and they're looking at all the judgments, the different things, and how can we move this forward? Long-term, long-term actions to move it forward because they want to get out of the choppy waters, okay? They want to get out. They want to have the opportunity to get back in there and teach, and they want a victory. Okay? So it's still all in the planning stages. I mean, there's nothing here that says, yes, we, we're definitely going back. We've got a plan. It's, it, she said, like she said, that uh, things have changed in the last week again. Things are amping up, and these... You know, the young children, they can't get vaccines, okay? Says most of the teachers are vaccinated. Most of them are vaccinated, but children aren't. And uh, this is, you know, and it's as easy to catch the variant as chicken pox. And we all know how chicken pox goes and in the uh, classrooms you know, and how you, how easy it is to get in that type of environment. So this is really a conundrum of what to do. Um, again, teachers want to get out there. They think that, you know, children need to be back in school. Uh, but there are no easy answers because we keep getting uh, the, the Lenormand thing I got was this, you know, the fox in the hen house, misinformation, dark information, um, quote unquote, information coming out that's not helping the situation. Okay? And then you have ones like DeSantis, that, of course, that are not even considering masks, just so much fallacy and. And I just had somebody on my channel today that says they work in met in one of the hospitals, and the people are coming in and they're telling them they've got COVID. They're saying, "No, I can't have COVID. It's not COVID." All the way to death, they're still in denial. And meanwhile, they're dying. Okay, these people are coming in. They've got COVID. They're being told they've got COVID. They're on respirators, ventilators. They die and. To their dying breath, they'll be in denial that it's COVID. That's how brainwashed these people actually are. To be in that type of denial all the way till, till you die, that's really brainwashed. So what to do? There are no easy answers to this. No easy answers to this at all. You, they, I'm sure everybody wishes their child could go back to school. They miss their friends. You know, they miss that environment. But really, um, it's not safe. It's not safe. Yeah, this is an anomaly. This is something out of the ordinary. There are no easy answers with this. Okay? 
this is a pandemic that's not going away anytime soon. Okay, and so far they haven't gotten a vaccine for the younger kids yet. And so we are in this position of hell if you do and hell if you don't. You know, between a rock and a hard place. Children need to be educated, you know, uh, but sending them is like playing Russian roulette. And the anti-maskers that are in this brainwashed condition of absolute denial are just fueling the fires. And those that are in positions of power are not being responsible. They are continuing to fuel this. I had somebody on my site, those that watch it, you know, yesterday that I had one of those anti-vaxxers. And if you're healthy, you don't need to have it, you know, and just pushing this, this crazy narrative, okay? So I let them ramble on for a while. They finally got to 9-11 was caused by our government. Okay, so th this is somebody <laughs> is totally on the crazy train, <laughs> circling, you know, and they go nowhere. They just keep circling on this, you know, deep state and everything, and they're plotting against us in, you know, <clears throat> in absolute paranoia of everything. And, uh, you know, it's not benefiting anybody. So what to do? We, again, we're in an anomaly. We're in a conundrum. Uh, and there are no easy answers. And like I said on the reading, no answers were coming out. It just says you know, everybody's working on it. Everybody's concerned on it. This is a burden. We've got so much false information coming out. And we want to get to better waters. We want to turn this around. But how to do it when children can't be vaccinated, okay? And we have these deniers out there pushing this false narrative. And you have a disease running rampant that's as easy to catch as chicken pox. So, all in all, this is a really volatile time and situation with a lot of people that are just absolutely brainwashed and unwilling to hear anything. Nothing rational. There's nothing you can say that will persuade them out of this illogical mind spin that they've got themselves in. Why do I just keep seeing the <laughs> washing machine just spinning? <laughs> just, that's what it's like. They're just spinning and spinning and spinning, and this is going nowhere. So all we can do is, if you're a parent, you're a responsible parent, continue to mask up, continue to have the children mask up, and... Uh, when you're around, you know, beware of those running around that, that are not wearing masks um, that could be potentially carriers of the virus, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Man, I wish there were some answers that were coming forward, but I don't see, you know, and I don't feel any answers coming out anytime soon. I wish I could say I feel a shift coming, but at this point, unfortunately not. So I'm going to leave this here, love and light, see you online.